What's up? It's Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, BallisticProductions.com back with another MacBook Air M1 video. Um, I got a lot of questions on my last video and people hit me with some questions also. So I'm going to try to answer those like one or two at a time. Uh, one of the big things was people wondering how plugins work with the new uh, MacBooks or the M1 processor or whatnot. So, um, I got FL Studio and Ableton on here, as I stated in the last video that I'll link up there somewhere. Um, and originally, my FL Studio test didn't go so well, but I did it another time, and it was super impressive. So, I thought I'll start there and go through uh, loading up some Omnisphere and Keyscape in FL Studio through Rosetta 2 emulation on the MacBook Air. Basically, that just means that FL Studio is not like optimized to run on these new MacBooks yet, but uh, Apple does have the Rosetta 2 software that translates it and lets it run pretty much like it would run on any other computer. So that just means once it gets optimized that it should be even better. But let's, uh, it's going to be kind of quick nothing special I'm gonna go into FL studio right here on this MacBook Air and I got this kind of rigged up to where um, I'm not doing like computer audio because that don't really matter in this video because some people asked about interfaces and stuff too but um I got the mic kind of close to the laptop, so it'll just come out the laptop speakers right here. And all I'm going to do is go into a new template, uh, minimal and empty. So we'll start with a clean, empty slate. I'm going to open up this first Omnisphere. I started with the uh, 256 Model 2, and then I decided like it'll be nice to have at least some stuff like internally so I don't have to always have an external hard drive so I actually put my steam folder uh, with Omnisphere and Keyscape because if you've been watching my videos you know I use those the most I uh, have all that internal I think it was 130 something 140 gigs that it took up so it's cool to have that and I still have like 200 and something gigs left after installing my music stuff uh, and all the Adobe Suite products I use from Photoshop, Premiere. Uh, I even put After Effects, but that don't run too good on it. Uh, Audition, Lightroom, Classic, the regular Lightroom, Illustrator. All those are on there, and I still got plenty of space. So if you like to have a lot of stuff on the laptop, definitely go for the 512. The 512 also has an extra GPU core. It's eight GPU cores and uh, eight CPU cores in the 512 model. And the the base uh, MacBook Air has eight CPU and seven GPU. Not a huge difference. Those still performing super crazy. I see all the videos and reviews, but just something to keep in mind. So let's start. Uh, I'm not about to make a beat. I'm just going in, picking a nice little sound to do the most basic chords. And it's gonna get annoying, I'm gonna say that now, because I'm gonna put like as many as I feel like putting on there and just stacking the same thing. Because otherwise it wouldn't make sense to do much more than that. And I'll probably just let that keep going. I'll turn it down a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go to copy. Open up another one. We'll do that little skip, but it's it's good. The CPU is around 8-9% right now. And that's with everything running from the Mac and FL Studio with the uh, plugins or whatnot. And I'm gonna do something harder, like I'm gonna go to like ARPs and stuff. I 
Let's change that. I ain't wanted to get too annoying too quick. <laughs> Number three, another art. You see it do that little skip, I really think that's probably got something to do with the Rosetta. Like it doesn't really throw you off too much, it picks right back up, but it does do a little skip or whatever when you load another one while you have audio playing. It's, you won't notice it if, uh, if it's stopped. Five Omnispheres, I'm around 15% CPU. No skips, stutters, or nothing, except when I load a thing. That's 10 Omnispheres, uh, 18, 19, 18, 19, back and forth uh, CPU. Super good. Let me add some Keyscape. Ten Omnispheres, five Keyscapes, we're still good.
Okay. So... So let me take off two of these keyscapes. Okay. So that was live. <laughs> All right, I did way more than that with Omnisphere before, and it looks like Keyscape, once I got uh, the 10 Omnispheres going, and I got to like six Keyscapes, it started to uh, skip a little bit. So I took two Keyscapes off. Let's see what it's doing now. Still got some clicking and stuff. Take off another keyscape. So that was smooth, but I'm going to take off another one just because. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is try to add some more omnispheres and see if uh, if that changes anything. thought that was gonna go on a little bit more than it did but uh looks like that's what we got <laughs> so um i got 10 omnispheres at the beginning and then like four keyscapes was on there i took a keyscape off and put another omnisphere so somewhere around uh 13 to 15 tracks of spectra spectra <laughs> of spectrosonic stuff uh omnisphere keyscape probably trillion and stuff too and I, I still didn't get trillion yet i plan to but i don't know i got other stuff for base um i did a test wednesday the day before thanksgiving and i no lie i got like 20 omnispheres but then like i say when i first got the computer i did a test and put fl studio on there and after about five stock in instruments like uh citrus stuff it got like a uh, kind of crapped out like this then but ever since i got all this new stuff installed and whatnot it's doing a little bit better but what i can actually say is i still think this is pretty good for fl studio because it's not ready for the chip like completely and i just got 14 plugins on here that are pretty like CPU intensive and stuff. And I would never have 14 Omnispheres in any of my beats. I know it's some people that have their playlist looking crazy and all that, but I ain't one of them. I'll probably start adding a little bit more of breaking down stuff that's there, but most of the time you're really gonna have like three to five like melody instruments or whatever and some chords. You might stack some of those, but I'll never need 14. Um, like mixing plugins, it might be a little bit different, but most of those don't take as much or ain't as rough as uh, 
Omnisphere, especially if you use send tracks and stuff like that or aux tracks or whatever. So that's test number one with FL Studio. I think I'm going to try Ableton next, um, maybe tomorrow or something. But y'all let me know what you thought about this. If you're planning on getting one, if you got one and you've seen anything different. Also, if you have any other questions, if you got a question, please hit the subscribe button first and then ask me your question and I'll do my best to accommodate and get that answered and it probably can help a lot of other people too. So, um, we will make an official video once I get monetized, which actually might be in a day or so. Well, I got to get reviewed first. So once it get reviewed and it's official, I'll do that. But I appreciate everybody that helped me uh, cross the thousand subscribers mark. I worked hard for that over the last 10, 11 months. And I'm just trying to uh, take it to the next level, keep it going, keep some good quality content coming in for y'all and all that kind of stuff. So um, appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know them questions. And until next time, hold it down. I don't know what that is. Until next time, hold it down.